The Job Guarantee Design, Jobs, and Implementation by Pavlina Cherneva Appendix 3 Frequently Asked Questions Number 15 Why do you say that the job guarantee has a superior anti-inflationary mechanism? There are only two buffer stock options with respect to inflation control. Either we allow the pool of the unemployed to expand and shrink with changes in economic activity, the status quo, or we devise a long-run program to directly employ the unemployed that does the same. Currently, the Federal Reserve uses unemployment to control inflation. The non-accelerating inflation rate of an unemployment, NIRU, is the benchmark policy guide for deciding when to step on the brakes and slow down economic growth. If the Fed deems that the pool of unemployed has shrunk to undesirable levels, put simply, that too, may, that too many people have jobs, it increases interest rates with the intent to slow down purchasing power, increase unemployment, and thus remove any inflationary pressures that may result from too many people having jobs and income. This, as the late Nobel Prize winning economist William Vickery argued, is the equivalent of economic vandalism. By contrast, the job guarantee expands in recessions, deflationary periods, and contracts in expansions, inflationary periods, serving the exact same function of responding anti cyclically to changes in aggregate demand that the NIRU is supposed to serve, except it does it by establishing an above poverty wage floor, providing jobs for all who need them, producing socially useful output, and reducing the outsized costs of unemployment.